Hello, YouTube. Joe here from Shutter Speak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling faces again here on YouTube. So today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the Mikey extension tube set, which is going to allow you to do macro photography with your Z mount camera and your Z mount S series lens. This is the Mikey MK Z AF1 extension tube set. So before we get started, I'd just like to take a minute out to say thank you for uh, being back here to watch this video. If anything in this video helps you out, please help me out by hitting the subscribe button, ring the bell so you'll get notified of future updates and videos as they come out. Um, hit the like button and by all means leave me a comment and I will try to reply to any of your questions. So um, this set here uh, is the uh, again the MK-Z-AF1. It's a great value. I'm going to leave the link in the video description section to Amazon. It's $39 on Amazon and in this set what you're going to get is this little set right here that consists of, let me take it apart, an 11 meter extension tube and also an 18 millimeter extension tube and you can also combine them as you saw when I first took it out to make it a 29 millimeter extension tube. So um, as you can see aluminum construction copper contacts okay it is weather sealed okay um, they seem to be very well constructed the copper contacts do pass all of the data from your S series lens to your Z mount camera so autofocus works um, you know shutter speed you can set all of that so you don't need to worry about any of that and even combined all the data still passes from your S series Z mount lens directly to your Z mount camera and back and forth etc so with this 11 meter 11 millimeter extension tube though you are going to lose about a third stop of light uh, this one here about two-thirds of a stop combined somewhere roughly about one-third stop of light but that being said being that there are no macro photography lenses available right now for the Nikon Z camera this is a fantastic option and again at $39 on Amazon this is a steal definitely worth picking up so again very solid construction um, you know and I'll show you how they snap into place I felt very confident using these with my S mount lenses I didn't feel like the lens was going to fall off or anything was going to break uh, everything fit perfectly okay so they just snap right into place align the dot to the dot and again it, it snaps right in there and then we take I'm going to use the uh, 24 to 70 f 2.8 because this is one of the bigger heavier lenses that we could use uh, align dot to dot snap that in and you can see uh, just like that I mean it's it's rock solid uh, I don't need to feel like I need to worry about this <laughs> lens breaking or snapping off here and even combined uh, with both of these on here to make it a 29 millimeter uh, I felt like my lens was safe and secure no no worries there so um, adding each one of these on does change the minimum focusing distance okay um, and again it's also going to depend on how many millimeters you're shooting at so I did notice with the 24 to 70 if I stepped all the way down to 24 millimeter and I had both extension tubes on which would make 29 millimeter I actually the, the focus depth became so shallow that I actually couldn't focus on an object without actually the lens actually touching the object and it actually was focusing on dust spots on the front of my lens but if I ramped this up beyond 24 millimeters say if I ramped it all the way up to 70 I had more than enough room to get super close and get super tight macro images uh, you know and again depending also on your aperture um, you know you're going to have a, a, a varying degrees of success at f2.8 the depth of field was super super shallow um, but still I was able to capture some really uh, fun and interesting images so hey you know what let's take a look at how 
that works and I'll show you some sample images. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are using no extension tube. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like using the 24-70 f2.8 lens. So this is about as close as we can possibly get to this flower without using any extension tube. And that's pretty much what that image looks like. So next let's put on the 11 millimeter tube. And now you can see we can get considerably closer and our focusing depth has gotten much, much more shallow. It's a little bit of a struggle to actually get focus. Um, you really have to kind of get used to it. And there's the 100% zoomed in image and that's what it looks like. So yeah, there's a bit of a feel to it, trying to get everything right. Um, there's a very, very uh, fine point that you have to reach in order to get focus. And um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but you get used to it pretty quickly. Uh, now let's use some focus peaking. You can see the blue highlights appearing, and that's going to show us the area that's in focus. Don't try and get that green dot, the green square. It's almost impossible. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying now to nail that green square, and you see it, it's just... You just can't move that slowly, and that's that's the 100% zoomed in, and there's the image. So much closer end. This is the 18 millimeter tube, and again, you can see we get a little bit closer now to our subject, not tremendously, but there's the 100%, and there's the image. And now with focus peaking using that 18 millimeter tube, and again, it's it's uh it's tough to do, but just. And again, uh, your, your highlights also, I should mention, may be red. I have mine set to blue because there was some red in this image to make them a little easier to spot. And so that's what that image looks like. And now here's the combined 29 millimeters. So now we have both images combined. And I'm using a tripod at this point, And I'm going to set uh, my exposure delay mode to one second to eliminate any shake. Um, you actually can't see a uh, half second. I think I changed it to a second later on. But you actually can't see the shake looking at the camera. But when you look with the extension tubes on, this is the smallest amount of camera shake you could possibly imagine. But yet you're seeing it so amplified here uh, while using these tubes. And there's the zoomed in image. And uh, I think that using the uh, tripod is definitely the way to go here. Uh, and again, you, I mean, you can just see a massive amount of camera shake. And the, the camera is solid onto the tripod. You can't perceive this camera shake with the human eye, but you can see it uh, using uh, these extension tubes. So I'm, I'm moving up here to one second delay. And that exposure delay, what it does is from the time I press the button, it just waits one second to snap the image to eliminate any shake in the camera. And there's our 100% and our actual image. All right, so now that we've taken a look at some sample images, I'll just show you quickly uh, the combined. So now there is a lever on these extension tubes to release your lens, just as you would if you were releasing the lens from the body. Oops, let's line up the dots there, dot to dot. And it would help if I did it the right way. There we go. And again, dot to dot. And again, you can see, no, that's with 29, 29 millimeter bolt tubes, and it's solid as a rock. Um, and again, you can see these levers here that release the extension tubes, which would be different than this lever here that releases the tubes from the body. Okay, so to remove my lens, just hit that lever, and the lens comes right off. So, again, a great bargain. Currently $39 on Amazon. Um, if you're looking to do some macro photography, I highly recommend picking these up. And quite honestly, if you just have nothing to do hanging out in quarantine, I have $39. This is just, it's just fun. So, hey, give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you want to share some uh, images, by all means, let's do that. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, once again, please uh, reach out to me. Um, hit the subscribe button ring the bell so you get notified of future updates and by all means uh, hit the like button also feel free to comment i really do try to answer all of the comments that come my way so feel free to leave a comment let me know what you think of these extension tubes and let me know if you think that they're worth the uh, 39 dollars for the most part the reviews were uh, stellar i did see one or two reviews that said oh, it fit a little too tight i didn't have that experience i think the fit is perfect 
and one or two people that said the contacts weren't passing data through the lens. I did try this with a variety of lenses, the 24 to 72.8, um, the 85 millimeter 1.8 and the 50 millimeter 1.8 and they all worked flawlessly. So highly recommended, have some fun with these. Thanks for watching YouTube and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.